Rev up your engines. Scott Simpson said, What do you think about modern V8s, Camaros, and Challengers? Are they worth the money? Well, I don't think any new car is worth the money because they charge too much money for them. <laughs> they are good engines. See, now, if you're talking about Camaros and Challengers, realize that those are still old-fashioned designs, those V8s. Those aren't even overhead cams. Those are pushrod engines. And that pushrod technology has been around a long time. They put out a lot of horsepower. They're pretty strong engines. Now, that said, they're complete gas hogs because they're an old-fashioned pushrod engine that weighs a lot. Old technology is they're going to go through gas like no tomorrow. And as for are they worth the money, that's the thing. You pay a lot of money for those things. As they age, their resale value goes down. I personally can't see that a lot of them are going to be collector's items because they're pretty much cookie-cutter mass-produced cars. You go way back and get a Dodge Challenger, Hot Charger, those things are worth a lot of money, but most of them got wrecked because they didn't handle that well so if there's any left that are in original condition they're worth a lot of money but these modern ones are kind of cookie cutter like the dodge challenger those hellcat engines uh, you can buy it what's called the hellcrate engine they now sell them dodge that they'll fit any of the older trucks from the 60s and the 70s they'll just bolt right in so a lot of guys are doing that they're getting the old ones putting the new engines in. They're, they're good engines there's no arguing that abe from an 83 says if i baby my engine can the timing belt go longer interesting question because changing the timing belt on some modern cars cost a fortune. What wears out timing belts are two things. One is the torque of the engine as you accelerate real fast. The crank is pulling the cams on the top and there's more stress. And the other is just flat out age. They're rubber based timing belts. As they age they crack, they stretch and they start bouncing around inside. And the more vibration they have when they bounce around of course more friction eventually they snap up. So to some extent if you babe the engine and drive it normally, yes it could last somewhat longer. If you have an interference engine I would just go by straight time and mileage. If it got if it's got 80,000 miles or more on an interference engine I'd change it if it's more than six to eight years old I'd change it just because you don't want to ruin an engine but if you have like a Toyota with a non-interference engine sometimes I'd see those things with 250,000 miles they've never been touched and they're still going and since if it breaks it doesn't hurt anything then you don't care Nick C says Scotty is it worse to fix a CVT transmission or should I get rid of it now see how much the car is worth on the market see what it costs to fix it you'll probably see that the cost of fixing it is more than what the car's worth and if that's the case that still runs somewhat sell it and get rid of it but you know, it depends on year how much money you have invested in it you know if you're really upside down in the car you might want to try to get it fixed because if you if you can't even sell it for what you owe on it then you're you know you might decide gee well I'll get it fixed and try to drive it till the wheels fall off but if you can get any amount of money for it now and it still runs halfway decent definitely get rid of it Adrian Lopez says do you think a 1983 Datsun 280ZX is a good car they were great cars back in the day you know that was revolutionary sports cars <laughs> 240 260 280 they were just they say the bee's knees for sports cars a sports car that was fast fun to drive and it didn't break down like all the other sports cars did in those days gotta realize that's old what are we talking about now 37 year old cars those are old cars <laughs> if you're going to get it as a toy go right ahead just decide what you're looking at what you're paying what you get for the money if it's restored and stuff and a mechanic like me checks it out and says yeah they did a pretty good job restoring it hey go right ahead or if it still runs at least maybe looks a little ragged pay a little bit of money for it or if it doesn't even run then you got to decide you do I want to put an engine or fix this stuff in it depends on the shape that's in but they were solid cars and they are collectible items so play it by ear to see how much you're going to pay and what you're going to get for it and how far you want to go fix them Moika Moika says what do you think about Alfa Romeos are they good cars what are you thinking about them <laughs> <laughs> I used to work on them all the time. People thought Fiat's were bad. Alfa Romeo's broke even more and had even more problems. Alfa Romeo pulled out of the United States decades ago. I suppose they're trying to sell them here now. It was always a high-tech company. If you have an endless supply of money and you wanted to buy one of those new Alphas, sure, they're fun to drive around. You know, they're real zippy little cars, but value goes down fast they have no resale value and they're typical Italian cars you know they're gonna fall apart as they age because that's just how those things are so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos remember to ring that bell